Roland Lescure, congratulations, amazing award. You have a number of top guns in here. It's not easy to do in this competitive world. What, uh, what really underpins this uh, achievement? Well, I think we probably like to work in the long term. You know, that's one of the main assets that the case has. You know, we have long-term clients, they're pension funds and insurance companies. We have long-term assets in terms of fund managers. You know, they've been with us for a long time. I think that tonight we have five Top Guns. They've been together 55 years all together at the CAST, you know, so 55 years of involvement and investment. Fundamental research is an important asset we like to, you know, work on. So those guys take long-term views, long-term positions in companies they know very well. And then we like to have long-term discussions with the management of those companies. You know, we've been involved in some of the companies that are present tonight for years. And, you know, I think that the long-term view that the case has managed to have on Canadian equities is an asset that we definitely want to keep on. You have quite, a, you have quite an international perspective, it seems, at the case. Everybody we meet has uh, quite a bit to say about the international markets, and they seem to know their politics. Well, I don't know if it's about politics, but you can't be investing in Canada without knowing about what's going on in the world, you know. The Canadian economy is one of the best, open, and most correlated, liaised with the way the world is going at the moment, you know. So in order to invest, analyze, and, you know, research the Canadian companies, you need to know about the world. Then again, the CAS for years has been involved not only on the Canadian markets, but also abroad as a, as a global investor. You know, we do feel that diversification, trying to enjoy the rest of the world's growth, as well as Canada's growth, is a good way of investing for our long-term depositors. Of course, you operate in the home of the Montreal Canadiens. And I remember when they won seven Stanley Cups in almost as many years, or maybe seven in 10 years. But it was always credited to the farm system and Sam Pollock's wise management of the talent of the future. How's your farm system? Oh God, I'm not going to give you all my secrets, please, you know. Uh, I think that uh, commitment, you know, commitment to the people, commitment to our depositors, and making sure that we manage our assets the way our clients want them to be managed. And then again, using time. Time is an asset that all investment managers who can afford it, I mean, one of them, should use. Question for you. You run an incredible group. What do you read? What do you read in your spare time? Oh my God, I don't have any spare time. I've been at the case for six months, you know, and it's been a 24-7. But hopefully one time I'll be able to read. And one thing I want to do is read about the hockey rules. I haven't learned them yet. I enjoy the games. I love the Olympics. My kids are starting to play, but I still don't know the rules properly. So please, give me a book about this. We think very highly of the game. You probably noticed that since you've been in Canada. And from what I believe, you know, I think the hockey in Montreal has had some very good French players. Oh yes, quite a number, exactly. Very, well, much, very true. One of my kids will be one of them. Well, you're speaking to an old Montrealer, so um, I'm very sympathetic with all things Quebecois and Montreal. So uh, thank you very much. I congratulate you on an extraordinary achievement. Well, I'll convey this to the teams, because they deserve it. I don't yeah, know. well, thank you for saying that. I'm sure that they have a great leader. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Uh,